I was like, I think I just pooped my pants. <laughs> I said, all right, well, now tell me more. So we started talking, talking, talking. And I go home, it's a Sunday night. I have to go to work early tomorrow morning. And I look at George and I say, Amy made like $9,000. And he was like, what's the, what's the catch? I go, it's a kit, 99 bucks. He's like, do it, Mike. what do you have to lose? So Amy and I started talking, and I was like, I want this for me. Like, I don't want to work 60 to 70 hours a week. And I told Amy, if I made a $15,000 paycheck, I would quit my job. Well, that happened. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I have to quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, what happened again, I go, oh my gosh, I get to quit my job. <laughs> so what happened was I, I took that money and I set it aside. I kept working for a couple more months. And because of January, because of that money that I made, I was able to resign from my partnership. I took four months off and chose a job where I only worked 40 hours a week. My husband didn't have to sacrifice his PA school, and here we are. So I want to say thank you to January. I want to say something else, because I told that story to a man one time who was a life coach, and he said, it is because of January, but it's also because you have a goal and a vision. So all of us have to remember that. Like, you'll get your because of story, you'll get your why, if you just believe in yourself because of you. All right, so next will be Hillary hearing, Hillary, eh? <laughs> I said your name while I was announcing it. We will be hearing from Hillary and Monte, one of our Canadian consultants. Hi. <laughs> Just take me a minute to absorb this, this. This is kind of insane. Um, hi, everybody. Um, I'm a mom. I have uh, a daughter who's turning six in October, and I've got two little boys who are three and a half years old. Um, and on any given day, I get asked multiple times if my boys are twins. And depending on who you are and what, what and how I'm feeling that day, I will just say yes, and we will separate our ways and move on. Um, but if you're somebody that I'm going to actually get really into it with, and I'm getting into it with all of you guys, um, my, my boys are not twins. They're actually identical triplets. And um, we found out very unexpectedly that we were carrying three babies instead of one. It was really shocking. Um, and at the same time, we also found out that they were really sick. They were suffering from something called twin to twin transfusion syndrome. Um, and it's a really long word for a really, really scary thing um, for multiple pregnancies. And, um, and in that exact moment, my husband and I made the decision to just do everything that we could in our power to make sure that we could bring all of our babies home and help them. Um, so I quit my job, a job that I loved, teaching music lessons out of our home studio, um, something I've been doing for 12 years, and we couldn't afford to live on a single income, so we sold our house and we moved in with my husband's parents. Um, doing those things was not hard. It was like black and white. This is what we needed to do to make sure that we could provide for our family and give them a, we have a happy life. Um, and to make sure that I could focus on my pregnancy and our family and that we could bring all of our babies home, but then we didn't. So in January 2013, I delivered my boys um, three months early due to complications from twin to twin transfusion syndrome. And um, sadly, one of our boys was stillborn. So it just, um, it kind of ripped a hole in all of the things that we had done, are, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, even though we felt like we did everything in our power that we could to do, to get what we wanted. We wanted to bring our babies home and healthy. And um, so it was excruciating, find, trying to find that balance between um, grief over our loss and like the intense joy that you feel for your surviving children when you lose a child. And, um, it just, it was overwhelming, and it was, it was hard, but we kept going. And um, it wasn't until about a year later that I started to feel like it wasn't just grief anymore. I, I was unhealthy. I was depressed. I was um, grieving really destructively when nobody was looking. 
and when my husband was sleeping, when the kids were in bed at night, it was just, I would go through all the details around our son's death and wondering if there was something else I could have done, and like some, something was missing, I didn't do something and it was my fault, and, um, and I just felt like I wasn't being a good mom to our surviving children, and at that point I was like, okay, this is God, like, I, I'm allowed to be sad, but this is not okay. And um, so I knew that I needed to find something. I needed to make a change. And that's when I stumbled across January. Um, and it's just been an insane ride. I mean, I was welcomed into this, this community of amazing, supportive, loving, creative, very positive women. And you guys, literally picked me up off the floor and just just turned me into the person that I used to be. Um, you know, I will never be the same, but the person that I am now is somebody that I'm proud of and I'm an amazing mom and I know it and I like I just thank you. for other women as well. And so because of Jamberry, I'm, I feel like myself again. And um, we were actually able to put a really big down payment on a house last year with my Jamberry income and we moved back into our own house, ready to start our new life with freedom and for all of us. Really, you know, gunning for the next month. 
And just as that happened, we had found out that my son was about to lose his government funding um, and would no longer have this teacher's aid. Now, of course, she's everything to us and that I just wasn't going to have a bar of that. <laughs> so I sort of thought, well, I'm going to go to the principal and beg and plead because how do you turn down a crying woman? <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> and disappointed and that's not normally me. I'm very big in turning uh, negative into a positive. Um, so I went home, got really upset and my husband, if any of you have met him, he is amazing. He is the best support system I've ever had in my life and I am very lucky. Um, oh God. <laughs> school had told me, no, I'm sorry, it's just not affordable and it's just not going to happen. So I was like, fine, I can't do anything about this, I'm just going to have to make it up to him somehow that I could. Eight days later, um, Jen Pay came into our account and I kid you not, I fell off my chair. <laughs> my husband laughed. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> um, so I was... I was really shocked, so I called up Janberry and said, you paid me too much, if you don't <laughs> take it back. <laughs> Lo and behold, I was paid incorrectly, they didn't pay me enough. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I've never seen so many like, dollar signs. <laughs> um, so three days later, I went to our local PNC, which I think you call... Um, PTA, no? Well, PTA. The parents. PTA. Thank you. PTA. PTA. There we go. Yes. Yeah, so it's pretty much the parents all come together and citizens of um, the school, and they just sort of fundraise for things that are needed. Um, and I was quickly told that my son wasn't a need, which sort of hurt. Um, so I, was, I sat down next to a beautiful lady. I had known her all my life. We had. Um, two sons together in the same class, and of course she was also losing her funding. I was really upset about that because we all stick together and support each other. So I waited until the end and I went up to the president and I said to her, listen, I need to know what I can do to be able to help my son, because as you can all understand, education is key. Um, she said to me, listen, we're not allowed to, the school's not allowed to take money or anything like that to help towards your son. She said, you're more than welcome to give it to the PNC and the PNC can put it to where they need. And I said, oh, okay. I pulled out a check, I handed it over to her and she sort of opened it and just stared at me and didn't say anything. Lo and behold, I paid for my son to have his teacher at school for three days for an entire year. <laughs> Me to come to America. So 
I'm really excited. And I thank you all for those who've come up to me and cuddled me, support. I'm a new tucker. So